want to show you how easy it is to make an SVG file with the StarCraft Create software. This software goes along with the StarCraft Solo machine. I'm going to start off by going up to File and then picking Trace Image. Then from this button, I will click on and navigate to where on my computer I have the image saved that I want to use. I'm going to be using a Space Ranger logo from the new um, Buzz Lightyear movie that's coming out this summer. So you can see when I brought this in, there are five different colors in the colorway box. And I really wanted to just focus in on three colors, the blue, the black, and the white. So I'm going to adjust this button right here to three. Oops. I went to two. Let's go back to three. There we go. One, two, three colors. So now it's really focusing in on those. I'm going to update my preview, which is going to show me the outlines of where those different layers are going to be defined. And I'm going to hit OK. Just hit the no on that one and go through. So I'm not 100% sure why, but you can see the grid lines through the rocket parts. So my white layer didn't really come in, but that's okay. I can fix that. So I am going to go up to object and then I'm going to say ungroup. That's going to separate the layers. So now what I can do is focus on this blue layer because the inverse of that blue layer makes the rocket ship. So I'm going to just right click on this blue layer so that I get a little pop up window or pull down. And then I am going to be able to do a copy and then a paste of that blue layer. So now I'm going to just scooch that guy over there. And actually I could put the black back on top of the blue because those are really technically done. I don't have to do anything else with those. So now we're going to make this second blue layer into the white layer by changing the color and hey, OK. So now it's white. But what I want is that rocket piece instead of the shield. So I can right click and go break apart. And that's going to break each section into its own individual piece. So you can see when I pull away the shield, that rocket is still there. So I could just delete the shield. Now I'm going to grab all the rocket pieces and I'm going to go to object merge. So now that I can click on the one and they all work together to fit into the rocket piece there. Now I'm going to grab the whole design and go back up to the object button and no object button, sorry, and hit group. This is going to keep everything grouped exactly where it is. And now I can just resize it by holding my um, control key or by adjusting the measurements over here on the far right. And now it's resized. So I can save my file. I always recommend doing this because you never know when things are going to go awry and you're going to be like, oh no, I did all that work. I didn't save. But now I can go up here to the export button and I can export this as an SVG file. This export button is huge for people like me who normally are using a Cricut. Now I can make true SVG files, export them out and be able to use them, send them to other people. So that's it. I now have a layered SVG. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.